Hi and welcome back. A while ago I did a video on the Blue Scuzzy and found that it didn't work on the vac station. So since then um, I've been playing around with the code and managed to get it mostly working on the vac station. Although there is one major issue with it, it's that the Blue Scuzzy doesn't have bus transceivers on it. The problem with it that the Blue Scuzzy isn't able to sync enough current for the termination on the vac station. So if you've got the terminator on both ends of the SCSI bus then it starts doing strange things mostly on, on read. I found that if you remove one of the terminators on the back then it seems to work fine. The latest official release has some fixes to support the back station so you will have to upgrade your blue SCSI. Now the best way to do that is with this, the NST-Link V2, which is a, a generic device that's fairly cheaply obtained on eBay. The official ST-Link doesn't really work very well, so you're better to go with the clone. The way you do this is with this connector, you just connect up the appropriate wires onto the blue SCSI and then we plug the ST link into the computer and run the cube programmer. Now before you program the blue pill don't forget you have to move this top jumper into the right hand position there in order to program it and then don't forget to move it back after you're done. So where do you get the code? You go to my GitHub repository here and on the right hand side there will be a releases section and you scroll down to this one and this is the latest official version so you just click on the firmware.bin here and download that and then you go over to the cube programmer to flash the firmware. So here we have the cube programmer once you've plugged your STM link in, you just hit connect and it will connect to the blue pill then go down to this one here and find your firmware file open that and then just start programming and disconnect. So now we can plug it into the vac station. Okay, so we're on the vac station now and as you can see the blue SCSI device is showing up, it's DKB200. So we can try and boot off that. So we're now running on the Blue SCSI device. And we haven't set any of the vendor stuff, so it just comes up as Quantum Fireball by default. So back to GitHub now. Uh, this is my special enhanced version which as you can see it says supports ADS2 CD-ROM images um, supports read long and write long commands so you can do volume shadowing and per image vendor information so once again you just download your firmware bin and then over to the cube programmer again to program the firmware. And 
Yeah, that's all done. Here's the contents of the SD card. There's the CD image and the two uh, hard drive images. And these are the configuration files that set the vendor information. So if we open one of these with Notepad, you can see that we've got the, the three vendor strings, the, the vendor of the product ID and the version number that shows up in the SCSI properties. Now with the enhanced firmware on the blue SCSI, um, just turn the back station back on and you can see the various devices I've got here. Uh, there's the CD showing up as a read-only disc and removable and there are the other fuzzy 24 discs that we've got. So what we can do is boot off the CD and boot standalone backup Being the install ISO, I can start installing from it. And off it goes. So there we can hold that. Bit off 300, and it should have the being this installer on it. I won't go through and install the whole thing, I've done that before, but just to demonstrate that you can now do your, your CD install on Blue SCSI. So now we'll have a look at some shadowing. So if we boot DKB 200 Set that to two. Shadow the system disk. Okay, so now system disk is now a shadow set with one member, which is DKB200. If we look here, we should see the shadow server is running, which is what we need. Okay, let's, let's A0. So we've just put DKB300 into the shadow set. And it's starting to copy. So with this new firmware, um, the shadowing works. And we'll eventually copy that, that drive. As you can see, it's moving along. Okay, so it's finished now. Have a look, and we've got two members of the shadow set. So we can do things now like remove the one we booted off, and everything's still okay because it's um, still the same shadow set. Anyway, that's about it for today. Hope you found these new features interesting. Um, 
everything seems to work okay except for the terminator issue but i don't think that's going to change anytime soon just because of the way the hardware is designed we'll catch up with you next time